Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add Forex instruments to the multi-charts platform once you have connected to the OANDA data feed. If you haven't already connected to the OANDA data feed on your multi-charts platform, feel free to go back to this playlist and refer to our setup guide for OANDA in multi-charts. So you'll notice once you have connected to the OANDA data feed or the Forex feed, You'll get that green status bar up there in the top left hand corner that represents that you are connected to OANDA and you can begin to add and receive Forex data. So you'll notice that unlike other platforms, Multicharts actually, actually makes you go in and manually configure your instruments for yourselves, only enabling the instruments that you'd like to trade. So for example, if we start off the bat here and we go into our little order entry window up at the top here, our trade bar toolbar, and we type in EUR for the Euro and we do a search. You'll notice that nothing is found and we get an error message just pretty much telling us that we need to add this instrument to the quote manager. So being that we haven't added this yet, we'll need to go up to the quote manager window. We can do this using the toolbar at the top of the platform there. You'll see my mouse is currently hovered over the open new quote manager window. So with a left click and we'll just have to wait a second for it to load up, our quote manager window will open. Now, as you can see here, this is an entire list of all the instruments that you can essentially add onto the platform. This is a culmination of all the different data feeds in one appropriate section. So if you do have, whether it's Forex data, futures data, it doesn't really matter here. You can filter based off your data source. So as you can see, if you just left click there, it should put it into alphabetical order. So if you are looking for a specific feed in our circumstances, Awanda, you can sort through right there. That being said, since we have just connected Awanda and this is our first time doing so, you probably won't see anything here. So I suggest following the method that I do. Once you are in this window, head up to instrument in the top left here click add symbol, drag your mouse over, and then click on from data source. And you'll see it brings up essentially every data feed that you can connect to on multi-charts. Awanda being one of them, we will left click that, and then we'll it'll open up your insert symbols into portfolio window. This is for Awanda. So like in the previous circumstance, we'll just simply type in EUR for the Euro, and after it looks up, you'll pretty much get back any contract or instrument that has the EUR in it. So as you can see, we have the Euro versus Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. I'm sure there's the US. There you go, the Euro versus US dollar. If we want to, we could add all these by just clicking the add all. So as you can see, we have the instrument that we want to add highlighted, the Euro versus US dollar, and we'll left click add. You'll get the message saying your instrument has been added and we can click OK and then close to back out. Now, like I mentioned before, if you like, you can left click data source to refilter these and sort based off of what you like. You can actually and left click on this and then just type in on your keyboard. So we could type in O and that would automatically search for anything with the O. In our circumstance, it would be Awanda. If you want, you can also come up here into the top left. You can see now that we've added it, a Forex section has been enabled. The actual spelled out Forex actually does populate our Euro versus US dollar. So we have that there. And then you'll see there is that FX, which does come from a different feed. So again, just keep in mind that you'll see your data feed listed right here under the data source column. Being that we are using a window, we just need to focus on that data source. Now, once you have the contract that you'd like to add to your platform, pretty much just left click it to highlight. Then you can right click, scroll down and left click connect symbol. Now you'll see it does say connecting. And as you start to connect to it over time, you will see, for example, it'll say one receive, two receive, three receive. That means you are receiving data from different sources. So now once we have our collect RT data without plotting on, there you go, it says one received. So we're starting to receive in data. We can actually close this out. 
and we can head back to the main portion of the platform. If you wanna just use this trade bar here to enter in an order, we can now do so. We'll type in EUR, search, and you'll see the first thing that pops up is that contract that we added. So we can click OK there, and now we can actually begin to trade the Euro versus US dollars. If you want, you can add a chart, so we can create a new chart window. Now, seeing that we are, or being that we are using a chart, you can actually come through here. This works for the same as a dome as well, and filter based off your data source. So since we're using OANDA, we can just left click that, and then this will essentially display any instruments that we have added from OANDA. So since the only one we did do is the Euro versus US dollar, we can just left click that. And you'll see just after a second there, it will load all the data into the chart appropriately. Again, within that section, if you did go through that quote manager window and decided to add every single contract from Moanda, that's definitely possible and everything that you did add will show up in that section. section. So just one more time, just to recap, Again, you go to quote manager window, instrument, add symbol from data source, OANDA, search manually for the symbol you'd like. We'll be doing the US dollar. And then, so for example, we can just click add all. As you can see, it added all 17 instruments. We come to our Forex section up here on the left, and then we'll pretty much just need to highlight, right click, and then connect symbol, and that will add it to our platform. But that just about wraps it up for this video. If you need any further instructions or assistance with multi-charts and Forex data, feel free to refer back to this playlist or reach out to us. You can comment any questions you have down in the comment section below. You can reach out to us on our community forum and we're always willing to help. That link will be down in the description as well. If you are interested in trying out a demo for Aranda or opening up a live account, feel free to refer to the description down below. Also, we'll have a link for that as well. Once again, thanks for watching and we hope you found this video helpful.